Good morning from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we'll be taking a look at this 2014 GMC Yukon Denali. This Yukon is showing just over 114,000 original miles. If you would like to see a high resolution detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report alongside a long list of technical data related to this vehicle's remaining tire life, the current brake condition, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview on both the interior and the exterior of this Yukon, as well as showing you some of its most notable features. Starting here in the exterior, you'll find the bodywork finished in this really, really nice, it's kind of an off-white color, it's not quite that pure white you may be used to seeing. It's got a beautiful metallic quality to it, hopefully that represents on camera in that direct sunlight. The paint's in very nice condition. You will find small instances of touch-up paint used, but largely presents very well as we make our way back on the driver's side here. You can see here the 20-inch chrome wheels. Add a nice bit of flash to the exterior, and it pairs well with all of the chrome trim there on the door, the door handles, and on the outer edge of the running board just there. You'll find the wheels do have just minor kind of peeling on the inside of a couple of the spokes there and you'll find that around the vehicle as we make our way up to the front wheel this one's in very nice condition looking here at the front fascia you'll find the headlight lenses to be in beautiful condition crystal clear and all of the chrome trimmings here on the grill and the surrounding areas all look very nice it's got great reflection very bright again in it pairs very nicely with all of the chrome looking down the side of the vehicle. You can see here another perfect headlight lens, a little bit of touch-up paint used on that edge of the hood. As you can see, largely though, the hood looks very nice, and you'll find minimal rock chipping here on the front of the vehicle. Looking down the passenger side of the vehicle, you'll find the paint to be very nice as well. Quick look at the front wheel again, just small instances of it peeling inside a couple of the spokes that largely presents very well. You'll see the running boards have not been abused. They look very nice. They're not gouged or scratched up. And again, similar story here at the back. Another wheel with a little bit of pitting to be found and some peeling of that chrome plating. Again, you'll see the paint looks very nice down the passenger side. And here at the rear, it's a very similar story. See all the badging looks nice. The kind of loading deck just here only has minor wear, which is nice. It hasn't been gouged or or damaged by cargo being loaded into the rear of the vehicle. See here that chrome trim at the back shining beautifully as well. So next up, I'm gonna make my way to the interior of the GMC, and there I'll take you on a quick tour, show you some pretty nice features. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, so making our way into the interior, gonna find this tan leather rather nice shape as well especially when mileage is considered if I move the seat belt you'll see that upper bolster is in very nice shape all the piping and stitching looks really nice and you can see here on the lower bolster the most minor wear on that edge but again with mileage is considered it's held up very nicely see there the passenger seat is in really beautiful shape as well so I'll make my way inside I'll actually fire up the vehicle for you I do have the ignition on because I have these TVs running which I'll show you in just a moment If you see any flickering on the gauge cluster there, that is only a result of the camera to the human eye. It looks perfect. So you can see the gauge cluster is working perfectly. Air conditioning is blowing ice cold. Heat blows very hot as well. You do have cooled and heated seats up here in the front, which is a very nice feature. You can see here your display. I'm going to fire that up. As I wait for that, you can see all of the wooden trim. Looks really nice, got this nice kind of deep brown shine to it, looks really nice. You can see all the controls look very nice. Here on the left there, on the climate controls, you will see minor wear on the fan controls, but nothing out of the ordinary. You can see here you also have a nice backup camera, if I throw it in reverse for you. And of course you have this nice sunroof as well, it's in a lot of natural light and is controlled via this panel just up here. Dashboard's in perfect shape as well. All the steering wheel controls look great. You do have a heated steering wheel, which will certainly come in handy come winter time. I'll make my way to the rear seats. 
So as you can see here, the rear seats, or the second row rather, are in very nice shape. You see here I do have the remote out for the TVs. I'll show you that in just a moment as I make my way inside. Throw on these TVs. I guess they must have shut off when I turned on the vehicle, but as you can see there, they're working perfectly. You do have TV for the second and third row seating. As you can see here, working perfectly, remote functions as intended, and you do have a pair of headphones that pair up to the system as well. You see you do have inputs just here at the rear controls, so you can wire up a console if you prefer, or just about any kind of input device you'd like. As you can see here on the rear controls, they're all in very nice shape. You do have heated seats here in the second row, which is um, just a perfect feature for the family, especially come winter time, as I mentioned before. Make our way to the back real quick. Of course, electronic tailgate opens up without an issue. As you can see here, you do have that other rear screen working perfectly. You can see perfectly in sync with the second row. Plastics back here are in nice condition. You do also have all of the original floor mats as well, the all weather mats and a kind of trunk. Uh, mat just there. These third row seats can be removed. You can see that pictured in the listing, of course, at alphacars.com. Now that we've got it running, of course, we should take a look under the hood real quick. So as you can see here, the V8 engine is running very smooth. Let you hear it uninterrupted for a moment. Of course, for a vehicle in this class, the engine bay is very clean. You see all the plastics have a nice shine to them. Minimal corrosion to be found, just small instances of surface corrosion. Train with a lot of pull and of course with that four-wheel drive system it's going to get you just about everywhere you need to go so if you have any further questions related to this Yukon Denali please reference the listing at alphacars.com we'd be happy to answer any of your questions and there you will find all relevant contact information thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day we hope to hear from you soon thank you so much